What's up? We're Escuela Grind. We're here at Reggie's in Chicago, and we're going to tell you a little bit about our dream tour lineups, each one of us. So let's go, Chrissy. <laughs> my dream tour lineup, I would really love to see AFI again. Turing style is definitely on my bucket list. I have not gotten to see them yet. And I would love to see Fiddlehead on that as well, because I am definitely missing all those bands while we're out here on the road, and it really makes me sad. <laughs> well, AFI is performing Sing the Sorrow all in its entirety, and I'm there's no way I'm gonna make that. Um, I really love Turnstile's last album. Um, it really just resonated with the whole band. We played it endless amounts of times on the road. And Fiddlehead is just a crazy experience. Like, I don't know if, any, if you've seen them live, it's just like teens just like crowd surfing over each other the whole time. And it's, it's a wholesome moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna get a little, little wild with this. Based off my influences, if I could bring Prince back from the dead, I would do so. I don't even care. I'll, I'll we'll play with hologram Prince at this point. I just wanted to see Prince live. I never got to. That is just like my bucket list that will never happen. So Prince, come back to us. Whatever. We'll we'll do it. Um, okay, Napalm Death. I absolutely adore, huge influence on the band and me personally. I love the politics of the band and uh, just the general stage presence of the band. I've seen them play in like 105 degree weather and they were still badass. So I would love to play with Napalm Death. I would love to make that happen. Um, let's see, let's, uh, let's get a little different. Um, we're influenced by... <laughs> or not. <laughs> in keeping in line with the uh, turnstile mention, Trapped Under Ice is one of my big influences and in how I do vocals and just that era of hardcore that I loved. It was like just when I was becoming independent and stuff. So that resonates a lot with me. So Trapped Under Ice, I would love to play with them at some point. And they're back to playing shows, so that's kind of cool. And uh, last but not least, I always like to throw this band into the mix because not everyone knows about them. It's a Norwegian uh, act called Parliamentarisk Sodomy. It's like one of those uh, one person sits down and writes all the parts and it's totally out there, extreme grindcore craziness. Um, the person that writes for that band uh, is insane and I take a lot of inspiration from what they do. And as far as I know, they've never performed any of that live as it would probably be really difficult to do so. Um, but if we could make that happen, that's what I would like to see. <laughs> hey, I'm Jesse, I play drums. Uh, I guess my dream lineup would be something crazy like Slipknot since they kind of got me into like really heavy music from like listening to like nothing but a bunch of rap and maybe like Nirvana or something like that and uh, Cannibal Corpse because uh, I guess watching their DVDs when I was like 19 years old really kind of made me feel like I could also do what they do and uh, Katrina already said Napalm Death, so I'll come <laughs> up with another her. band. But uh, Brewhead EI is really cool. I think they're uh, a really sick band from the genre that's like that we were influenced by, and they're uh, got a some sick representation going on. And uh, shit, you know, it'd be crazy to just bring like a badass like a rapper or something like on tour that could just like kind of make things a little different you know, maybe like I don't know like Earl Sweatshirt or some shit like that you know speak some truth to some people so they can like you know change their perspectives if they want but what's up Tom bass <laughs> do I say that every time uh, <laughs> no I think my dream lineup uh, probably converge uh, headlining uh, acts to fall I was late to converge uh, 2009 acts to fall changed a lot of shit for me um i would say poison the well uh early when i got into heavy music my cousin gave me a poison the well cd and a skateboard and changed my life um i'd say animosity if i could bring them back from the dead uh, i have a whole like side piece i i'm just in love with that band and their their intensity um and then some newer bands that I'm really into right now. Uh, I've been listening to a lot of Zulu. That would be sick. Um, and probably this band, No Cure. Uh, been listening to them a lot, their EP. So 
I think that shit. And maybe to Jesse's point, add a rapper in there. I would throw in Danny Brown. No questions. <laughs>